You'll float too. You'll float too. You'll float too. Oh, God. <laughs> It 2017 is directed by Andy Muschietti. This has a large ensemble cast, most of whom are newcomers, except for Jaden Lieberher, known for St. Vincent, Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things, and Bill Skarsgård, who plays Pennywise the Dancing Clown. A group of bullied kids known as the Losers Club must work together when a demon taking the appearance of a clown begins hunting children in their area. This has really natural dialogue with a story that's very well paced with just the right amount of humour. It takes its time to introduce the characters and from what I've heard, I've not read the book, it's a very faithful adaptation. The music adds so much to this. It makes unsettling scenes so much more unsettling. And that's the sign of a good score. There are some freaking brutal things that happen in this. I'm not going to say much. All I will say is, holy crap, Georgie. This time around, the bullies actually felt like bullies. And not like the 90s version where they had that cartoony kind of feel to them and the main bully was kind of like an over-the-top and failed attempt at trying to be an evil Fonzie. Come on, I can't be the only person that thought that. There's a love triangle that actually makes a bit more sense this time. I can't say for certain until they do the sequel and finish the story. But so far, they're on the right track. The sync scene is fantastic. They go over the top of the effects, but it actually works. And Pennywise, he is absolutely terrifying in this. His mannerisms, his face, his voice, everything. He actually feels like a demon in this. Sorry, 90s version, I mean no disrespect, but this is how the character should be. It makes sense why they go in the sewers this time. They don't just randomly walk in. They actually have a reason for it. And the final confrontation with Pennywise is really well done and so much more climatic than the previous version. Can I just say the marketing campaign was really well done for this? They didn't reveal too much and that poster, I'm not sure if it's just me, but the first few times I'd seen that poster, I never noticed his face. The first time I did, I was like, holy freaking crap. And heaven help you if you have a fear of clowns and dolls. That's all I'm going to say. This film wasn't perfect. I had a few small nitpicks with it. The first being that even though all the characters had more depth to them, Stan, even though the performance was great, still felt like the weak link. He is definitely the one you learn the least about again. I was hoping they would add something else to that. And there was something that was still lacking for me with the bullies in this. I can't quite put my finger on it, but something about them felt underdeveloped. And the way their story ends felt quite anticlimactic. And the scene with all the blood in the bathroom, even though that scene was fantastic, the aftermath I was a bit iffy about. When Beverly showed the rest of the group all the blood, they all handled it a bit too well. I figured someone would freak out, but nope, they just saw it, accepted it, and cleaned it. This film also does something that a lot of horror films do. It's kind of like a horror trope. There's all these loud noises that happen at the same time a scare happens, and I feel like they're just there to make you jump. Personally, I would have liked less of that, but that might just be me. Overall, this is a very unsettling film to watch in a good way. They really found the perfect tone for this movie. Horror with a little bit of comedy. The acting is fantastic and I think the kids and the director are definitely ones to keep an eye on. I would give IT 2017 a 9 out of 10. Like I said, Stan still felt like a little bit of a weak link and there was still something lacking with the bullies. But this is a fantastic horror film. It's certainly one of the best ones I've seen in a long time. If you're a fan of the Stephen King novel and or if you're a fan of Stranger Things, I would definitely recommend checking this out. So are you planning to see the new It movie? Or have you already seen it? What were your thoughts on it? Why not write them down in the comments below? Let's have a discussion. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can see the next movie review that I put online. Until next time, see ya.